Hi there, this is Lori. First of all, I want to tell you there are so many awesome scrapbookers here on YouTube and there's a couple that did some uh, really unique, beautiful stuff with Graphic 45's uh, Little Darling Collection paper. Uh, Anna of Anna's Paper Creations and Arlene of My Butterfly Kisses. I love what they did with this uh, paper and it inspired me to do this project that you're going to see here. Arlene had done a little dresser and I thought, oh, that's it. That's exactly what I'm looking for to do with a couple little dressers that I had picked up from Craft Warehouse. And I thought, this is perfect. I wanted some little gifty type items to make out of them. And I think this is just going to come out really nice to be able to use for all those fun little things that you collect, you know, the little bracelets and the little lock of hair and, and just a little keepsake uh type item. Um, I think that's going to look really nice in there. Also Jewels of the Jewel Box, and I'm going to have her link down below, gave me some die cuts that were just beautiful and intricate. These are by Cherry Lynn. She had run them through her um, Big Shot and made um, me a few of them and I've used them on this project here. Please check out her link and I'm going to try to put Cherry Lynn's link down below also. I just think this dresser um, is came out really good. I, I like the way it looks. Um, I had taken some flat uh, pearls flourishes and put on the front there along with some lace along the drawers. Uh, chalk inked all the edges of it. I found these adorable little baby doll shoes at an antique store. I'm, I don't think they're antiques, but they are so vintage looking. I thought this worked out perfect for this project right here. Um, and I just think they're so cute. I also added some little baby blocks, uh, a picture frame from Michaels. And here is, you can see the wild orchid roses that I used the flowers from my own art fire store are right there and I'll put a link down below for those. Some pearl strands that are also from my art fire store. There's a ribbon in there. I'd taken and glimmer mist all the flowers so they have a little sparkle. Kind of hard to see here in the video but they do. And I've glued everything down so nothing's moving on this. Um, I think that this is going to be um, something that I would definitely like to receive myself if I had just had a little little one. And I think it's going to make a nice gift to sell at the uh, Christmas Bazaar that I'm doing at the end of the year. Arlene, thank you a lot for the inspiration and Anna. Both of you guys are awesome scrapbookers. I love everything that you two do. Uh, there's a lot of people out there. I love their work. Uh, I just admire so many of you guys. You you just do beautiful work and it's inspiring me to get things done. So here's what I started with. Two unfinished little wooden dressers. I got these at Craft Warehouse. They constantly have a 40% off sale going so I got them pretty inexpensive. I went ahead and covered them in a flat white paint. Um, at least all the areas that we're going to be showing. Uh, didn't do the back of the drawers or anything like that. Uh, this is what uh, kind of shows a little bit of what I used in the project because I put these pictures on my blog. I thought I'd go ahead and put them here for you to see. You can go to my blog and get a little bit more um, as information and pictures. And this shows that I used the Little Darlings collection. These are some little wooden uh, miniature blocks that I had and, and as you can see the one in the center is really bright. I had taken uh, for the two dressers and painted the uh, set kind of in an off-white and then I also used a chalk ink which I hadn't quite done when I took this picture uh, around the edges to give them a, a more aged look. I found this uh, really cute little doily. It seemed appropriate so I put that up on the top there. I also used chalk ink around all of the edges over the white paint. I like to give it a little more vintage aged look. I used some lace on the front of the drawers. 
I also use some uh, little pearls and pearl caps for the drawer pulls. Um, they had little wooden dowels. I wasn't really crazy about the little wooden dowels that came with it, although they would be cute painted up too, but I kind of like the way that these kind of give it a little more elegant look. I also used a, um, I'm not even sure what they're called, but in jewelry they have the, it's like the pin with the little loop at the end of it uh, to run it through the drawer. And I'm going to look for some little tassels to actually put through the little eye hole. I think that would look uh, cute, but I haven't haven't found anything like that or made anything to go with it. So I'm going to keep my eye out and uh, see what I can come up with to put on there. Here's another look at the uh, die on the side there. I had taken and used my chalk ink to kind of just, it was a real bright white, and just kind of make it a little more creamy looking. Then uh, glimmer mist over it, and then use my 3-in-1 glue to glue it down. I think it gave it a cute little extra touch to the side of it. This Michaels frame that I got um, was painted and then stickled around the edge. I put a cut out a picture from the paper pack and added it to the frame. There's a picture showing the little blocks. You can see how I aged them around the edge of it a little bit more in that in that picture. And the little shoes. Here's a top view again, so you can get a little bit better view of, of the different flowers. I think that added a little something uh, up on top there. And here's the finished project. I want to thank all those wonderful people out there for your inspiration. Keep it going. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.